I, it was my brother and I, and some nights on the phone we would call, and he met Mike, and we would just talk about growing up in Taiwan, talk about, um, you know, our experiences there. And we would laugh, and, and, and then we, but at the end of the phone call we would say, oh, we were lucky, you know, that we had such a unique experience. I wonder if there's other people like that from my age group that are still out there. So what a, I went to Facebook <laughs> and I just typed in Taiwan in the late 60s, early 70s. And there a group popped up called Remembering Taiwan. And so I went and looked at it. And the first thing, it was just uh, a farmer with a water buffalo. And it just brought back like just that one picture as the header. Just I was like, this is my group. This is it. They called when I got home. My dad was there waiting for us, and he says, "Guess what?" He said, "I go what?" He goes, "We're being uh, transferred again." Okay. And I was like, well, "You know, we just got back to the states," and he goes, "No, we're going back to Taiwan." And I, oh. I was so happy. Uh -huh, really? going, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, when you're a little kid, you don't need to. I, you know, a little kid, I didn't need to have, know how to speak. Uh, yeah. Chinese to have fun with some another little kid. Yeah. And so we played with each other. We didn't care. We were off running around having a good time. And I told him that I used to swim in Taiwan. I said I swam with a Chinese family, and he's the one who came back and said I know who that family is. And he was telling me, and I just thought that was funny. I swam in the military pool, the the, the officers' club pool, and then that pool up in the, on Grass Mountain. I, I'd swim sometimes with Debbie. I would like to do it three times a week, at least that. Uh huh. But yeah. because of my leg and so forth, it, it's been very hard recently to do that. Yeah. So we hung out really with the Ama in the kitchen all the time because my parents were gone. I was very lucky in that um, I was raised by an Ama, and uh, so we were very close. And I uh, always wanted to find her. We we finally found uh, my Ama. So last year when we came back, we went to uh, see her. So you, you really treat Taiwan as your second home. home? Absolutely. Yeah, this is really home. I, when people ask, I tell them this is where I grew up. Yeah. This is home. This, like I said, this is where I had a, a lot of firsts, you know? Well, I always uh, think of uh, Yangon as my home. I was so surprised and I tried to keep, you know, telling Nicole, I'm like, this is not how Taipei was, not, how, you know. Is, is this idea ever occur in your mind? Uh, Go back to Taiwan after you retire. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I, I've thought about it, you know. If it was just me, it wouldn't even be a question. I'd be here so fast. Oh, don't forget Gambe and Sui Bien. Oh, yeah. I, I remember those. Good, good. Yes.